Today's lesson is Henry Golding, Hollywood's Asian heartthrob. Hi everyone, I'm Roger, and I'm Helen. And today we're going to talk about a celebrity. Maybe you know about this person. Maybe you've seen that movie he starred in a couple of years ago, Crazy Rich Asians. We're going to be talking about Henry Golding, who is a handsome devil indeed, and that's why we're calling him Hollywood's Asian heartthrob. Yes, I'm very glad that we are talking about Henry Golding finally because I am a big fan, and he is a heartthrob. A heartthrob, of course, is a young actor or pop star who is very attractive, and、uh, it's usually used to refer to male actors or male pop stars. And he is a heartthrob. I have to say, there's no doubt about that. No doubt. So whenever he goes to sign autographs or pose for selfies, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of screaming girls there. Wanting to get a selfie taken with him, so indeed he is a heartthrob, a handsome devil, and of course he's very famous, and he's a famous actor and all sorts of stuff. So that's the subject of today's lesson. So let's get to it. Let's listen to the first part of our lesson, and then we'll come back to talk about it. Henry Golding, Hollywood's Asian heartthrob. Malaysian English actor Henry Golding has only been in the film industry for a couple of years. But he's already established a name for himself. The 33-year-old's charm, good looks, and ability to roll with the punches have made him Hollywood's newest leading man. 大家好，第一部分我们看到单字 establish 这个字是动词，指使被认可、确立某种地位、建立。例如 ，practicing hard. Kyle wants to establish himself as the best basketball player on the school team. Kyle 努力练球，想被大家认可是校队里最杰出的篮球员。或是 Debbie has established herself as an important part of the team. Debbie 已经确立自己成为这个团队重要的一员。再举一个例子 ，Do you know when Yellowstone National Park was established? 你知道黄石国家公园成立于何时吗？另外。这个字的字尾加上 m e n t 就成了名词 establishment， 指营业的场所、机构、建立。举例来说 ，Martin's father owns several fast food establishments， so his family is quite rich. Martin 的父亲拥有好几间素食店，因此他家还蛮富有的。或是 John owns this establishment. He founded it 30 years ago. John 拥有这间机构，他是在三十年前创立的。接着我们看到片语 roll with the punches， 表示随机应变，克服重重难关。像是 life isn't easy sometimes， and you just have to roll with the punches。人生偶有不如意，你得要懂得应变自如。或是 don't let one setback discourage you， learn to roll with the punches。别因一次挫折就泄气，要学会克服逆境。And today's lesson is Henry Golding, Hollywood's Asian heartthrob, and we're going to learn a little bit about this、uh, very fine-looking Asian actor. Now, Malaysian English actor Henry Golding has only been in the film industry for a couple of years, but he's already established a name for himself. So he's a newcomer to Hollywood, to the world of acting. He's only been in the industry for a few years, but he's established a name for himself, meaning that he has already achieved success, so that people know who he is. People are aware of his talents as an actor. Now, the 33-year-old's charm, good looks, and ability to roll with the punches have made him Hollywood's newest leading man. So, of course, he's successful for various reasons. First of all, he's got this charm. He's a gentleman. He knows how to say the right things. He's also got good looks. He's really handsome. He's really attractive, and it says here he's got this ability to roll with the punches, and all those things have made him the newest leading man. So, what does this mean to roll with the punches? Does that mean he's a good wrestler? Not necessarily, although he could be. But to roll with the punches, this expression means to. 
basically remain unaffected or to not allow yourself to be affected by difficult experiences. So if you experience failure, let's say as an actor, you go try out for a part and you don't get that part, you're not going to give up. You're going to roll with the punches. You're going to get by and continue on with your career until you reach your goal. Yeah, we all have setbacks. We all have conflicts with other people, and sometimes we let those things bother us. And we say, "Well, I guess I'm not cut out to be an actor." But he did not give up. He rolled with the punches. He took it in stride, and he has become successful as a result. He's the newest. Leading man in Hollywood. So here, leading man. That's like the main actor in a movie, right? Right. That's the main actor, the lead male character in a movie.、Uh, leading man could be an actor for a romantic part. So, for instance, Timothy Chalamet is one of the newer actors to play leading roles in movies. Right, so that basically refers to somebody who is popular as an actor, as a male actor. So yes, he's the newest leading man, and yes, he's starting to get roles besides Crazy Rich Asians. So we're going to move on now to the next paragraph. Let's do that right now and listen first. Golding popped up on the Hollywood scene in 2018 as Nick Young in Crazy Rich Asians. The movie was a huge hit. Earning more than any other romantic comedy in a decade, the movie's success suddenly launched Golding into stardom. Surprisingly, the actor has taken his newfound fame in stride. For him, there's simply nothing to lose. I made it this far in life without having to rely on anyone but myself. I can manage it if I don't make it in Hollywood, he says. 第二部分我们看到片语 pop up。表示突然的出现、发生。举例来说 ，I was surprised when a message from an old friend suddenly popped up on my computer screen. 当电脑屏幕上突然冒出一个老朋友的即时讯息时，我着实吓了一跳。接着，我们看到动词 launch， 意思是展开、开启某人的事业、生意、发起。例如 ，acting in a television commercial helped launch the actor's career. 出演电视广告帮助那名演员展开演技生涯，或是 Ben launched his new website over the weekend. Ben 在周末启用了他的新网站。再来，我们看到单字 newfound 这个字是形容词，指新获得的、新发现的。像是 I heard my cousin just broke up with his newfound love. 我听说我表哥刚跟他新恋人分手。So we're talking about Henry Golding, and of course, most people know Henry Golding as the actor that was in the highly successful movie from two years ago called Crazy Rich Asians. Golding popped up on the Hollywood scene in 2018 as Nick Young in Crazy Rich Asians. So he popped up, meaning he appeared suddenly. I could say guests popped up at my party without having been invited. So basically, Golding popped up on the Hollywood scene as the actor in Crazy Rich Asians. He played Nick Young. And that sort of reminds me.、Uh, years ago, on the internet, when we used the browsers, there didn't we used to get those pop-up ads all the time when we were trying to browse a web page, and these advertisements kept appearing, and we had to keep turning them off. I guess、uh, they figured out a way to stop those pop-ups from happening. They always pop up. Pop, of course, refers to that. Sound that something makes. So here, he popped up. He suddenly appeared in that movie, Crazy Rich Asians. Now the movie was a huge hit, earning more than any other romantic comedy in a decade. I assume you saw that movie,、uh, Helen, Crazy Rich Asians. Yeah, I've seen that movie, and that movie actually helped a lot of already successful actors become. Even more successful and more popular. For instance, there was、uh, Aquafina, who actually just won an award, a Golden Globe, for she was the first Asian female actress in a comedy that won an award. And also, Crazy Rich Asians made Constance Wu, an American Asian American actress, famous, and also Michelle Yeoh, the Malaysian actress who's been in a lot of martial arts films. 
Indeed. Hopefully, they'll keep going strong. Every once in a while, there's a movie about Chinese people or something, and then they just kind of disappear. Like many years ago, there was the Joy Luck Club, and those actresses and actors were famous for a while, but they kind of disappeared. Hopefully. Henry Golding will have staying power here and start appearing in more and more films, as will some of the actresses that you just mentioned there. So again, the movie was a huge hit; it was very popular, and we're also describing it as a romantic comedy. Comedy is a movie that is funny; it makes you laugh, and it also involves a love story, a romantic comedy. A lot of times, that is simply shortened to rom-com, romantic comedy. Right, so I prefer to watch comedies these days because sometimes I work really hard and then I get stressed and tired, and I don't want to watch a serious movie. I just want to kick back and relax and watch a rom com or a straight up comedy movie. Yeah, girls like that sort of thing. The guys like action movies where they've been working hard at the office all week. As have the ladies, but the guys tend to like to see lots of action and fighting and killing and shooting and stuff like that. You know, to each his or her own. But in any case, let's、uh, go on and continue talking about crazy rich Asians. And Henry Golding's role in that movie. So the movie's success suddenly launched Golding into stardom. So yes, that movie was quite popular. It was a big hit. Lots of people saw it all over the world. So the success of that movie launched his career. People saw him. He was in the lead role, and everybody thought he was a handsome devil. And they thought, boy, I want to see more movies with him in it. So of course, it launched his career. Here we've got launch. As a verb, that just means to start something. Like a rocket will launch from a launch pad and go into space. Right, it's to send something into the air, like a rocket or a spaceship. But you can also use it figuratively to talk about somebody's career. To launch someone's career means to start the career and to make it big. Now, in the case of Henry Golding, his career was launched by this movie, Crazy Rich Asians. Now, surprisingly, the actor has taken his newfound fame in stride. He hasn't gone crazy, hasn't lost his mind because he's become famous. All of a sudden, he has been taking it in stride. He has taken it in stride, which means to not get excited about something, to stay calm, as if everything was still normal. And、uh, he has taken his newfound fame in stride. And newfound here refers basically to something that is new, something that you have just gained or just found. Yep, I've got some newfound confidence, so I'm going to apply for a new job. That's just an example here, but of course he's taken that fame in stride. He's thinking, yeah, that's really great. I like it. I appreciate all the recognition, but hey, I deserve it. I've been working hard. That's what's supposed to happen. So that's what it means when you take something in stride. You're kind of modest about it. You don't really think it's a big deal, and you continue moving on. Now for him, there's simply nothing to lose. He's got everything to gain and nothing to lose. He says, "I made it this far in life without having to rely on anyone but myself. I can manage it if I don't make it in Hollywood." And that's what he says. So he's relied on anyone, or at least he hasn't had to rely on anyone. Except himself, or but himself. Basically, he's relied totally on himself, and he's saying, "Well, you know, if I make it in Hollywood, that's great. If I don't, I'll still be able to survive. I know how to survive. I can always get another job if I don't stay famous forever." But he's going to. Right, that's a great attitude to have because some people might say, "Well, if I don't make it in Hollywood, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a total failure." That's not the case with Golding. He says, "Well, if I don't make it," I'll still find something else to do. I'll still manage to be happy. Okay, that brings us to the end of the second part of our lesson for today. It's time now to move on to the third part and continue talking about Henry Golding. Before starring in Crazy Rich Asians, Golding had almost zero acting experience. He dropped out of school at 16 to work at a hair salon, and later moved to London to continue his pursuit. Then, at 21. He suddenly decided to move back to Malaysia and become a TV host. He distinguished himself in Malaysian television and shifted to hosting travel shows for the BBC and Discovery Channel Asia. 
One day he was contacted for the role of Nick and his whirlwind Hollywood career began. Gina went to the hair salon to get her hair cut and styled. Gina 去发廊剪头发做造型。接着我们看到单字 shift， 这个字是动词，指改变、移动。例如 ，Martha shifted to a vegan diet this year. Martha 今年转换成全素的饮食习惯。最后我们看到形容词 whirlwind， 指旋风般的、飞快的，像是。Kelly went on a whirlwind tour of Malaysia last weekend. Kelly 上周末快闪马来西亚旅游。And welcome back. So we're talking about Henry Golding, and this fine actor became famous through the movie Crazy Rich Asians. But as it says here, before starring in Crazy Rich Asians, Golding had almost zero acting experience. So he came to the movie, a major blockbuster, very important Hollywood movie, without any experience, and that's quite unusual because usually people, actors who have the chance to star in such an important movie, will have had a record or experience in starring in smaller movies or smaller roles. Yeah, you can't always start from the top, you know. You have to work your way up from the bottom, or work your way up the corporate ladder if you're working for a company and you want to be the CEO someday. Yeah, as an actor or an actress, you usually get smaller roles and you gradually work your way up. But he kind of actually started at the top here. He almost had zero acting experience. It says here he dropped out of school at 16 to work at a hair salon and later moved to London. To continue his pursuit, so if you drop out of school, that means you quit school. You don't go to school anymore. You can use this to apply to any level of school, whether it be high school or university. You simply drop out of school, and you just don't go to school anymore. Maybe even kids as young as ten years old have to drop out of school in certain countries to go help work on the farm on their parents' farm or something like that. Unfortunately, that still happens here. But I guess the university wasn't for him, so he dropped out of school at the age of sixteen. I guess that would have been high school. Actually, he dropped out of high school、uh, because he wanted to work at a hair salon, which is where people go to get a haircut or to get a hairstyle. And then he moved to London to continue his pursuit. Your pursuit, as a noun here, your pursuit is the thing that you are pursuing, the kind of career or the kind of job you want to get in the future. Right. So when you pursue something, you want to get that thing. And pursuit is the noun form of the verb to pursue. So I could say, in order to pursue your dreams, you have to work hard and you have to keep your eyes on the prize. Now, then, at 21, he suddenly decided to move back to Malaysia and become a TV host. So he made a 180 turn, went back to Malaysia where he was born, and decided to get. Into a completely new career, basically, and he distinguished himself in Malaysian television and shifted to hosting travel shows for the BBC and Discovery Channel Asia. So he was getting some good experience there in front of the camera, starting in TV as a TV host, and then people started to recognize him more and more. He distinguished himself. In Malaysian television, so if you distinguish yourself, that means eventually you become noticed by lots of people, and you aren't just a face in the crowd. You actually stand out from the crowd. People recognize you, and you start to get famous. Right. So he was probably very good at what he did. He was a good host, and he was probably very charismatic as a TV show host. So he distinguished himself. Now I could also use this word in the sentence. He wasn't a great student in high school, but in college he distinguished himself as a fine writer. So in college he became successful. People began to notice him because he was able to show off his talents and his abilities in a particular area. 
Yep. So he、uh, made a name for himself in Malaysian television, and then he thought, "Gee, I would like to host travel shows for the BBC." So he shifted or changed his focus a little bit to hosting those travel shows for the BBC and Discovery Channel Asia. Now, one day he was contacted for the role of Nick. Which is、uh, the role in Crazy Rich Asians? There, Nick, and his whirlwind Hollywood career began. So, whirlwind is that kind of like a whirlpool in the ocean? Well, a whirlwind is a powerful, dangerous wind that spins really fast and carries away things in its path, just like the whirlwind in The Wizard of Oz. Like a tornado or a cyclone or a twister. It's a twister, Auntie M. It's a twister. Watch out! But in this particular case, we're talking about the life in Hollywood. It's active. Lots of things happen. You meet lots of people. You attend a lot of parties, and you get roles in different movies. So yes, indeed, his whirlwind Hollywood career began, and the rest is history. Okay, that brings us to the end of our discussion for today. Let's listen once again to our Chinese teacher. Hello, 同学，大家好，我是 Hanny。我们来看今天的文法重点。演员 Henry Golding 因为饰演疯狂亚洲富豪而声名大噪。那么课文第二部分的第三句写到说 ，The movie's success suddenly launched Golding into stardom. 这部电影的成功突然让高丁大红大紫。好，句子里面的名词 stardom 在这边是指明星的身份、明星的地位。那么 launch。在这边，它是指说让什么什么的事业职涯开始成功 ，launch somebody into stardom， 就表示让某人演艺事业开始成功，登上了明星地位。好，其实 stardom 也常常会搭配其他动词，像 rocket to stardom 或者是 shoot to stardom， 用来表达一举成名、打响名号、声名大噪。其中的 rocket 在这边是当动词来表达快速的窜起、迅速成功。好，另外还可以用 rise to fame 来表达成名或是出名，像是 the actor got the lead role in the movie and rose to instant fame。那名演员在电影中饰演主角，一夕成名，很快就出名了。好，那么课文接着提到说，这位演员对于他得到的名气泰然处之。他自己就有说 ，I made it this far in life without having to rely on anyone but myself. I can manage it if I don't make it in Hollywood. 那我们这边来介绍片语 make it， 它在句子里面用到两次嘛。我们来学 make it 的不同意思和用法。第一种呢是表达说。抵达某地，或者是达成某个目标。后面呢，常常会接 to 加名词，像是 Although the taxi driver drove slowly, we still made it to the airport on time. 虽然计程车司机开得很慢，我们还是有准时到达机场 ，made it to the airport. 好，那么再看一个例句。Our team didn't make it to the finals. 我们这一队没有打进总决赛。总决赛就好像一个目的地一样，可是我们没有到达那里。好，那么第二种用法是用 make it 来表达说成功度过难关，挺过难关而存活下来。这时候它的意思就跟 survive 差不多。例如 ，Their business didn't make it through the first year. 他们的生意撑不到一年就结束营业了。好，第三种是用 make it 来表达说成功办到了，成功做到了。例如 ，It's tough to succeed in this business, but if you keep working hard, you'll make it eventually. 做这一行要成功并不容易，不过如果你持续努力的话，终究会成功的。好，顺便补充一个相关用法。Make it big 可以表达大成功、非常成功，它的意思就跟 hit it big 差不多。举例来说 ，The singer has put out several albums, but she hasn't made it big. 那位歌手他有发过几张专辑，但他还没有很成功，还没有大红大紫。好，那么以上是今天重点整理，我们回顾今天的单词吧。Establish. Her role in the Oscar-winning film established her reputation as an actress. Comedy. This new comedy is the most popular show on TV right now. Launch. In the late '80s, Nike's "Just Do It" ad campaign launched the brand to a new level of success. Pursuit. Learning English is a worthwhile pursuit that can give you a sense of accomplishment. 
Distinguish. Frank distinguished himself in British theater at a very young age. Shift. At age 40, Joe shifted to a career in medicine. Well, that brings us to the end of another edition of our program, and please make sure you join us again next time. From all of us here, I am Roger. I'm Helen. See, See you, you next time. time.